What up, y'all? You know, uh, living in a warm climate has its advantages, but I'd say it definitely has plenty of disadvantages. And the majority of those disadvantages uh, revolve around people who come to these places. And I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't include myself in that because I'm here, I'm one of them. Um, however, I do feel like a misfit here lots of times. I was born and raised in Chicago um, and uh, lived in Ohio for a while. So for the most part, a Midwestern boy, um, the allure of uh, the warm weather and all that stuff was, you know, pretty, pretty tempting, you know, um, to say the least. And so I, um, I went ahead and uh, accepted a transfer out here. It was offered to me. I, I was a loan officer at Chase Manhattan back in the early 2000s. Like I started there in 2001. Um, and uh, I moved out here in 03 originally. And it, I've been out here, like I've been out west for a total of 23 years almost 23 years. In June, it'll be 23 years because I'm... No, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't count. 21 years. It'll be June 21 years because I moved out here in 03, not 01, 03. Anyway, that's my math skills for you. But anyway, um, so I've been out here over 20, uh, 20 years between um, Arizona and Colorado, you know, both kind of considered part of the West. Although I think the people in Colorado are much more down to earth and hardworking and um, uh, just better people in general than people in Arizona. And I've lived in Florida before too. I lived in Florida for a very short period of time. It was like maybe a year, year and a half I was in Florida and I noticed the same thing down there. And I, I just kind of came to the conclusion that it's just people who flock to, uh, warm states where, you know, you're not shoveling snow, you're not driving in the snow, you're not worried about slipping on the ice, you're not worried about all the things that you worry about with cold weather. Um, and that just, that, that seems like a great thing. And it is a great thing to a, to a degree, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about cold weather. Maybe it builds character. Maybe only the tough people end up staying in a, in a, in a cold weather environment. Um, and all the weaklings kind of leave, which again, that's an insult to me if, 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 if that's true, what happened. Although, um, you know, I don't like the cold weather for sure, but, um, when, when you move to a warm climate, it's interesting, the cultural differences that you'll notice, um, right away you'll notice a certain snobbishness. You'll notice a drastic increase in the percentage of beta males. Um, you'll notice uh, uh, like this oversensitivity. Um, you'll notice a lot of men who are very concerned about the way they look, you know, guys who will, uh, um, dry clean their their jeans and they'll and they'll press their shirts before they go to work and and uh they wear designer blue jeans and and you know all, all this like old guys 40s and 50s like they have families they have wives and kids and they're still going out and buying new clothes all the time um i guess i can't look down on that i'm not trying to look down on that but i don't do that i mean if i get a new shirt it's like a big deal if i get a new and usually if I get a new shirt, it's a t-shirt. It's not like a work shirt, but, um, <clears throat> I get like a new shirt once a year, maybe. And that's just because my old shirt ripped or I got too fat for it and I grew, outgrew it and I just needed to get a new, you know, new pair of pants or a new shirt. But, um, I mean, I go through, um, I go through tennis shoes about every five or six years just cause I wear holes in them and then I get new ones. Uh, everybody out here, 
not everybody that but a lot the majority of men they're just very very image conscious and uh they're just super touchy about a lot of things and uh, especially the millennial west coasters oh man you think you got it bad out on the east coast and in the, in the midwest with millennials try moving out west and dealing with the millennials that you have out here dude it's like a religion you know if you say the wrong thing, if you do the wrong thing, if you have the wrong opinion, not only do they not like you, but you are now excommunicated from, from the group. Now people walk past you without saying hi to you. People don't invite you to their little get togethers and you're just conveniently left off of distribution lists and, um, uh, it's just, it, it's really eye opening when you come out here. And most of these people are younger than me, you know, it's like to a degree, I, I, I don't care, you know, cause I'm just like, yeah, they're in their thirties, you know, they're just being, they're just being pussies or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I like to have friends. I like to have people that I can relate to and that I can hang out with. And it's just, it's tough. It's tough to meet like-minded people when you move to a, a warm climate from a, from Midwest or East Coast kind of a uh, mentality, you know. Um, nobody can take a joke out here. I, I, like, you'll you'll crack a joke. It'd be total sarcasm. Like, they, they don't speak the sarcasm language. They just, they don't understand it, you know. You say something sarcastically and they're like, what do you mean by that? Like, well, I, I was just joking. And then they kind of get this look on their face like, that's nothing to joke about. You know, they might not always say that, but then they'll, they'll, after you joke about something, then it's like, they just treat you differently. Um, it's really weird. It's really, it's really off-putting. Um, and of course, you know, the work ethic out here is terrible. I mean, it's just awful. Just like it was in Florida, when I lived in Florida, the work ethic was just the worst I'd ever seen in my life, which that's kind of like got an upside to it, to be honest with you, because if you want to move up in a corporation and you live in a warm climate, California, Florida, Arizona, whatever it is, um, just show up to work every day on time and do your job and you'll be a manager in, in you know, six months because everybody else is just dicking around calling in sick for no no good reason not finishing their work you know skipping steps rushing through shit not not doing their job and uh you know you'll you'll stick out like a sore thumb but here's the downside to that when you become a manager now you're managing all those people now you're managing all those lazy asses who who don't want to work that's what i found you know and then now you have all these whiny bitchy moaning little bitches who are just constantly if you don't give them what they want they 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 report you to HR because they, they think that you're treating them unfairly or something. So um, I've had some interesting experiences out here. Um, you know, we've we've had some experiences recently with some groups of people that that were were in. You know, it's like the parents who just. Um, it's really been. It's really been eye-opening and interesting and just weird. It's really been weird. Um, you know, it's like, it's a very different culture. And I don't know if it's a nowadays thing. I don't know if it's a millennial, millennial thing. I don't know if it's a West Coast thing. Or maybe it's a combination of all those things. But uh, on Sunday, um, my boy had a... Um, he had a uh, baseball tournament, and uh, I saw one of the parents that we used to talk, like, I used to talk to one of these parents all the time that was on another baseball team that my son was on before, and uh, I must have done something to offend him because um, he he saw me, like, he looked up and he made eye contact, and then when he walked past me, he started, like, checking his watch and, like, going through his pocket, like, acting like he didn't see me, and then he walked right past me, and I was like hi like what the hell dude um 
the uh, the cowardice of men out here seems to have no bounds. Um, the uh, passive aggressive behavior, the non confrontational uh, culture, it's really like just fear. And, you know, it's just, it's so foreign to what I grew up with. You know, I, I grew up that, uh, uh, I grew up hearing that like a man, when he shakes your hand, he, he has a firm grip. He looks you in the eye. He doesn't talk shit about you behind your back. If he has something to say, he says it to your face. He doesn't tell everybody but you. Um, you know, if you have an enemy, you know, you try to extend the olive branch and like get it resolved, you know, instead of just being like, I'm not talking to them anymore. They're no, they're, they're nothing to me anymore. It's just like this. I mean, it, it's, it's like gay. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, obviously it has nothing to do with sexuality, but did you guys ever watch the, the South Park episode where, where they were talking about the difference between gay people and fags? <laughs> so funny, man. This, this video is probably going to get banned now because I said that, but like the kids on South Park is like, and they were like, they were being questioned by a bunch of um, teachers and, and other parents or like, like other adults are like, wait a minute. So you're saying, you're saying that somebody can be a fag, but not be gay. And they're like, yeah, they're like, so what if, what if somebody is, is, uh, I can't remember the example that they gave, whatever, but they were basically saying that you're a fag. If you're, if you're a pussy, not if you like other men, you can like other men and not be a pussy right? You can like other men and still have, uh, you know, you can be a homosexual, uh, that can be your sexual preference, but you can still have some integrity and still be a man about things, you know? But if you're a heterosexual and you have a wife and kids and a job and you, you do all the things that heterosexual men supposedly do, but you're just a pussy, you're a wimp, you can't take a fish off a hook, you know? You don't know how to shoot a gun. Yeah, get that gun away from me. I don't, like, like you're you're a fucking fag. That's that's like it, and like you come out to Phoenix and California, Nevada. This is like the men are all fags. I'm sorry, you know. And I'm not I'm I'm, I'm not talking about blowing other guys or or getting other guys up the asses. I'm talking about they're just pussies, and it's it it's hard, it's hard to deal with. It really is. So anybody who's thinking about moving to a warm state from a cold state, maybe you should think again.